Highly anticipated study commissioned by the Mobile City Council says annexation would benefit the city economically while still maintaining a majority African-American population. WKRG News 5's Jeremy Jones has more on the findings, plus reaction from the mayor and city council. In a new study prepared by the PFM counseling firm shows annexing west of Mobile would accomplish the following. Preserve Mobile as a majority black city. Ensure the voting age population in four of Mobile's seven council districts remains majority minority. Bring Mobile's population over 200,000 and bring more revenue than expenses. All are Mayor Sandy Stimson's goals. The study also says if annexation doesn't take place, Mobile runs the risk of continued population loss. Without annexation, the entire metropolitan area could suffer. And that there could be a reduction in city services in the city of Mobile without annexation. These maps provided by the city of Mobile show which areas will become Mobile city limits. The study says all four maps would increase tax revenue for the city. City Council Member William Carroll says the city is looking mostly towards the west because that's where the most population growth is. Right now it looks like the, the biggest also financial portion of this is also in the western part of the city. So I think that's most advantageous and it's also where the population trend has been going to is further west instead of further south. Carroll says the council plans to speak with the consulting firm next week to learn more details. He says a vote on annexation won't come for a couple of weeks. There's a lot we have to actually look through, so I, I would look maybe two, three weeks or more, maybe a little bit longer before we actually vote to move forward on whichever plan that we, that we choose. Reporting in Mobile, Jeremy Jones, WKRG News 5. Previously, Sims Mayor Brandon Van Hook has spoken against annexation. Back in January, he said it would hinder his city's future growth.